with those guys getting injured, you know, it just means that the people who's behind them, it's time for you to step up, you know. Hopefully, throughout the season, you've been watching what those guys done and how they've been successful. So that way, when it's time for your number to be called, you know, you can come in and do the same thing that they did in their role. How does it change things for the secondary we have front seven that is almost entirely different than what it began with this season? I mean, it doesn't really change things. We still have the same goals, same objectives, you know, that we started the beginning of the year with. Um, I mean, as long as we cover, they can get to the QB. So they don't get to the QB and QB throw the ball. I like to think we get more interceptions. So, you know, I feel like we're going to do what we what, what we've been brought, to, brought here on scholarship to do. Where did you feel like the secondary showed the most improvement, especially between the LSU game and the Texas game? Um, I felt like challenging, challenging ball, you know, it was definitely there on every pass. I felt like there was no open receiver at, at no point, you know, just from what I've seen. And then also, you know, I feel like we, we improved on tackling. Gang tackling was there. Uh, my individual tackling was there, so I feel like, you know, those were the highs from the Mississippi State game. How did Xavier Patrick Hamlin say that, that you guys maybe started a little bit slow that first possession, the, the second one where they scored? Yeah. Uh, that's been kind of a, a pattern, I guess. Is that what you see? Is there something that, that takes a warm-up pattern, warm-up sequence that was required for a game? Um, I wouldn't want to say a warm-up sequence, but, I mean, if you go back and look at that drive, you know, that kind of, you know, the importance of doing your job. You know, not trying to, you know, necessarily go out of, go outside of your box to make a play, you know. It was nothing that they really did, you know. I think it was a long QB run or something like that, you know. That that just has more to do with, you know, everybody doing their individual jobs, not more so, you know, I'm not kind of into the game yet type of thing. But, you know, when we do what we're supposed to do, you know, stuff like that doesn't happen. So, you know, it just goes back to the defense, you know, communicating and guys playing sound assignment the football. One, well, you mentioned their receivers being up. One was open, and, and Trevon was in front of him and made a pretty good play. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. And the, uh, they kind of ran like a little uh, quarter beaters, I guess you would say, with that deep post. Um, and that is one of the plays where, you know, in that they kind of schemed it up well for, you know, that for our defense. But, you know, Trevon, he was, he was in a good – for him to make a play, be able to even make a play like that, you know, that kind of says how good Trayvon is because most corners, when they, when they throw that deep post, you know, that is a touchdown, at least a 60, 70 yard, you know, completion. But the fact that he was there to get one hand on the ball, you know, that just speaks to how good of a player he is. What was his reaction not getting the interception though? I don't know. I don't think he was more disappointed than me. I was looking straight at him like he was right in front of me. So when I seen him go with one hand, he really been trying to do it the whole season. I don't know if y'all seen, but he been, he been trying to catch a, a one hand interception, but I thought he had it. So when he dropped it, you know, I felt sick for him. With him being a former wide receiver, you give him a hard time about that? Yeah, that's, that's, that's passes you should make, you know. <laughs> Stephon make them, make them, make them <laughs> grabs. I don't see why you can't. Shane has been starting the whole year now and we're through most of the regular season, obviously. What, what have you seen out of him now that he has um, close to a full season? Um, I really see the, see the maturity in him, you know, from kind of being all over the place when, uh, when we, uh, he was first announced as a starter, you know, you know, kind of as a young age, you know, with a, especially with Alabama defense, it does take a while to learn, especially like, I know I just played uh, corner, star, and safety, so I know it took me every bit of like two and a half, three years, you know, and then to watch Minka and those other guys go through it. And now you telling me that a freshman linebacker not only has to get the coverages back, so actually has to make the defensive front changes. And, you know, I knew he was overwhelmed, but, you know, the coaches helped him learn. You know, we helped him, you know, gain confidence and calling because, you know, you do need to call. But overall, he's getting mature. I think now you can see him not being so uh, kind of confused or, like, um, sporadic, I guess. But he come into his own. Is that what you mean by all over the place? Just yeah. like kind of overwhelmed like by overwhelmed, all the stuff he has to know. Overwhelmed by a lot of things. Yeah. How big was his interception? That was big. You know, first drive out, you go get an interception. That, not, that was probably something that also helped calm down. Like, once you realize you can really play with everybody in the league, you know, now you just get to the thinking part. It kind of happened fast, but do you remember anything in particular about that play? Man, I know he didn't score. <laughs> There's no reason why you should have got tagged. We supposed to 
stiff on the quarterback or something. You know, you can you you can't get tackled by a quarterback. How much is just that overall defensive performance good for Mississippi State? Is that more what you and some of the veterans have expected of this defense from the beginning of the year? Is that kind of more of an example than maybe two weeks ago? Yeah, that's I mean that's what we expect. I'm pretty sure that's what fans expect, alumni expect. Like that's that's the Alabama standard of defense, you know. I mean, outside of the second drive, they didn't score again. So, you know, that's that's the example that that this Alabama defense been trying to show everybody. You talked a lot about people having to wait their turn and learn uh, the defense. Just how big was it to see Ben Davis go out there and get a sack? Oh, yeah, that was big. Uh, me and Ben, me and Ben kind of go way a little back. You know, I kind of met him my senior year in recruiting. So, I mean, for him to, to get on the field and make the sack, like, I mean, I, that was kind of like a – I was on the field, so that was like a big sack. Like, you can hear the pass popping, like the collision. So, and once I seen who it was, man, I was excited for him, you know, waiting your turn, and, you know, you can finally go out there and make a play. You know, that's one of the best feelings in the world. Go against them pretty regularly, especially if you on good. What have you seen from Mac and kind of how he's grown? Even you're seeing a lot more practice reps maybe in the last three or four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, no, I've seen Mac Jones grow since he's been in here, even from scout team days. But you know, Mac Jones is, um, you no, know, he's developing, and I really got the most confidence in Mac Jones. I feel like the team has the most confidence in Mac Jones. You know, I tell him all the time, like I believe in you. When it's when it's showtime, you gonna you're going to shine. I feel like you're going to, you know, you will be, you know, a good quarterback, a great quarterback, and whatever whatever the team needs of, of Mac Jones, he'll go out there and do. Just from the mindset and determination that he brings forward when he's in the locker room, when he's in meetings, even on the field. You know, there's not too many people that go back and forth with Coach Saban. I remember the first time I seen him do that his freshman year on scout team, he was throwing bombs. And Coach Saban said, stop I think he was throwing it to Tyrell Shaver. He was like, man, stop throwing it to him all the time. And he was like, well, tell your defense to stop it. Like, but for a quarterback to have that that type of charisma about himself, you know, I'll be behind him all the time. What's, right, what's Coach's you. reaction to that? Did he? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You're good. Uh,